In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called end queens. So basically, end queen, the end queens puzzle is the problem of placing n number of queens on a n times n chessboard such that no two queens can be able to, to kill each other. So given a integer n, and this n integer value is between 1 to 9, return all the distinct solutions to the end, uh, end queens puzzle. So each solution contains a unique uh, board and configure of the end queen's placement were q and dot uh, both indicates a queen and a uh, and an empty space right so you can see here we have a 2d array and the size or the width of the a board is n times n so you can see n is 4 so we have n 4 times 4 grid and then inside this grid we have you can see we have unique uh, solutions you can place a queen here and then therefore there's no queen can be able to kill this queen right here right so you can see here for queens they can be able to move this way this way this way and also all four diagonals directions as well right and then you can see here that if i were to place this queen here there are no queens that can be able to kill this uh or can be able to reach to this queen right here right and you can see that that's about one valid solution. So we want to save it in a array in a list of uh, string. Um, and then you can see here, we also have another solution, right? And you can see that for each and every single piece or each and every single queen, they cannot be able to reach to another queen, right? So this will give us a total of two distinct solutions uh, to, this four, to the four queens puzzles uh, shown above, right? And then you can also see that we can have one. If there's only one, right? If I only have like just one, I can only place it here. And then in this case, the only solution that we can have is this, right? And because in this case, we have to place a number of uh, a number of queens in our grid. So that's the requirement. We cannot leave it empty. Like we cannot leave it empty. And this, this does not count as a solution because we need a number of queens in our grid. So to solve this problem, it's very similar to the solve Sudoku problem. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the very top left. So the top left position is right here. And then basically what we're going to do is that we're going to um, check, right? So to see if we can be able to place a queen here, we have to check all, uh, in this case, all the directions, right? So in this case, all the directions to see if there's any queens. If there's no queens, then uh, we can be able to place this piece here, right? If there is a queen, let's say we have a queen here, right? Let's say we have a queen here, then I cannot be able to place this piece here. So what we have to do is we're going from the top to the bottom. And if we see that we cannot be able to place a piece here, then we have to leave it empty. We have to move on to the next cell, right? And then basically that's, that's exactly it. And what we're going to do is that um, we're going to each, iterate each and every single row right, to place a valid piece there. And at the end, right, if we can be able to, uh, before we reach to the end of the board, um, if we can be able to place a number of piece, then we can return the current board, right, so that we don't have to continue to traverse. Um, if we cannot be able to reach, an, if we cannot be able to uh, place a number of queens by the end of the board, then what we have to do is we have to uh, backtrack to the previous cell. To see if we can be able to um, skip or in this case to backtrack to a cell that um, that has a piece there and maybe we can be able to put a dot there or put like a, a empty cell and then we can try it with a different option right so for example if i'm uh, in this case so far i have one and i'm right here and in this case i can place a piece here Right, but then when I reach to the end, I realize I only place two queens. Right, so then what I can do is I can be able to go back. So backtrack. Can I be able to um, like don't place any queens here? Can I have a solution? Right, so then if I don't place a queen here, can I place a queen here? In this case, I can't because I have one queen right here that's blocking our way. So what we have to do now is we have to keep backtracking all the way um, to a valid solution. In this case, we can place a queen here. Right. And if we place a queen here, maybe then we can continue. And then in this case, we cannot place a queen here because this queen is uh, can go this way, right? So then we continue to backtrack, right? 
until we found a solution. In this case, we can try to try to place a queen here, right? In this case, if we place a queen here, then we continue. We can also place a queen here. So now we have three, right? In this case, we have a four by four, so we need one more. And then if we try to place a queen here, that's not gonna work because we have one here and one here. So in this case, we have to continue to backtrack to the original, in this case, you can see, uh, back to this one right here because those cells right here cannot be placed, right? So in this case, we can backtrack to this cell, to this stack, and then we can remove that queen and we can place it somewhere else so that we can be able to get a solution, right? So now you can see we can also have another example, right? For example, if I place a queen here and then I can go this way, I can go this way, I can go this way, right? And then if I, and then I just basically, uh, find the next cell that I can place. In this case, if I go, if I place a queen here, right, then in this case, I ha I can be able to place it here and I have to continue to traverse. In this case, I cannot place it here because this queen could go here, 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 and all the way, right? So in this case, I continue to traverse and then I found a blind spot. In this case, it's right here, right? This queen cannot reach to here. This queen cannot reach to here. So I place it here. But then I realized like, okay, well, I cannot continue in this case, if I reach to the end, right? These are dead spots, right? So in this case, I have to backtrack. And then in this case, to backtrack, we have to re we have to place this back uh, to a empty, just basically a dot, right? And then in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to backtrack if a, the last piece was here. So what we can do is we can just erase this and then see if we can leave it empty, uh, if we can be able to make any changes. Right. If we leave it empty, then these spots are op uh, this spot is not open. And in this case, this spot is not open as well. But this is open, right? We can try to, to place a queen here and see if we can be able to make any changes, right? So you get an idea. And this spot is also open. Uh, this is not open, right? And you can also see that uh, this spot is open and this spot is open, right? So those spots are open, but we can basically try to place a queen there and if we can't find a solution we backtrack and then uh until we find a valid solution right if we find if we can be able to find place a number of queens uh before the end of the grid before we reach to the end of the grid then we can pretty much be able to add the current board onto a save it onto a a, a result list right so now let's take a look at how we can do this in code so to do this in code uh what i basically did here is i um i first create a um grid right and by any grid and then i fill the grid with a dot right because the dot represents the empty so then i call this helper function we start at the zero zero position the top left and then we have a number of queens that we have to place and this is our board so at the end we're returning the results right in this case the result is basically the um all the valid solutions all the valid boards that we can place right so unlike the Sudoku solver, where there's only one solution, we have to, uh, you know, try with all the solutions, right? So in this case, we have to return a list of uh, boards that are valid. So you can see here in our helper function, uh, basically we first check to see if it's out of bound, right? If it's out of bound, we're gonna reset, we're gonna put column is equal to zero. We start traversing the next row, right? So it's kind of like if we have a table here, uh, we finish the entire row, right? We iterate to finish the entire row. Then what we do is we just move on to the, uh, to the next row, right? Starting at the column zero. So you can see here, uh, basically, if I find that n is, is zero now, like if I can, if I already place a number of queens on the board, then I can be able to add the current position. I can add the current board onto the result. Um, and then we can just return, right? Um, and then you can see here, what we're going to do is that if the row is out of bound, that means that we basically successfully traverse the entire grid. So what we can do is we can just return, right? And then what we're going to do is that we're going to place queens here if it's valid, right? If we, we have a function check to see if this position is a valid position. So just like I mentioned here, I have to check this way, this way, this way. So all the directions that queen can go right, to see if it's valid. If it's valid, we can place it here. We just put a Q represents the queen at this position. 
and then we decrease the number of queens that we have left, right? That we have the place left. And then what we do is we do a DFS to 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 move on to the next cell um, to um, uh, do a DFS, right? And then at the end, we're going to backtrack to this current stack, and then we're going to unchoose this position, and then we're going to uh, uh, revert the changes that we made, right? Unchoose that option, and then what we get to do is we can we can be able to try to skip the cell, right? It doesn't matter if we if we can be able to place or not be able to place the queen. At this current position we still have to try uh to see if we can be able to skip the cell um to um uh to have to generate a valid solution right and this is very important because in this case you can see here uh like for example this one right here if i only place it if i don't do that if i only try to place but uh forgot to do the skip right then in this case i have to place the pawn at the first cell and this will not give us all the solutions, right? So then what we do here is these are the sub functions like the two string. Uh, basically, I convert the chessboard to a list of string. So the, the 2D character into a list of string. And then I add it on and I return it in, as a list of string, right? And then here is the is valid function. I just, you can do it a different way here, but this is how I do it. I basically iterate the top and down. Um, to see if there's any position that does not equal to dot. If it's not, if it doesn't equal to dot, then we can just return false because we found a queen, right? And then what we do is we uh, we basically just try to search the top left, the top right, down left, down right. So this is the top left. So in this case, we're basically going to the upper level, right? And if it's not out of bound, we're going to continue to search. Um, and then we're going to search the top right, the down right, and we're also going to search the down left. Um, and at the end, if we found a valid solution, sorry, if we be able to search all eight directions, if there's no queens at all, we can just return true, right? So this is pretty much how we solve the end queens problem. So there you have it. Thank you for watching.